Hey there, Mountaineers. Today we got one from Cubite Studios, as well as Pico. This was developed originally by Micropose UK, released August 19, 93, uh, 93 or 95 on the Sega Genesis. The highlight of this release back then was uh, the graphics and some of its dynamic bosses. But uh, the game does come across as sort of difficult. This remaster was uh, done by Pico. They've done a lot of these games. A lot of these games were kind of expensive on the old retro consoles. But this one you could still get on eBay for about 25 to 30 bucks. But Pico did a really good job with this one. Uh, giving you options, you're able to change the look of it. And uh, make it look like it did on with the scan lights and stuff like it did on the original console. Or you can look at a much cleaner version like you see here. And they did a, just a really excellent job with this game in my opinion. Um, you can get this now though on modern consoles for $4.99. This version. It's an action platformer about an evil intergalactic goblin named Grim Squidge. He steals the stars from the sky with a vacuum type uh, nosed spaceship. And he seals them in glass spheres and scatters them throughout the uh, distant planet, messing with the timeline. And uh, this brings this, our hero you see here, Tin Head. You know, he's a guardian of the universe and he comes bearing his uh, ball blasting uh, gun he has mounted to his head. Uh, this was set to be released on the uh, Amiga and the NES, but was cancelled. And. Uh, same goes for a finished version that was going to be on the Atari Jaguar, but uh, the console didn't have the best of sales, so uh, this uh, suffered the same fate on that console as well. I I, re I really enjoy the bosses on this game. It is kind of difficult, like because the way you do gun shoots, uh, sometimes it's hard to hit enemies. Uh, there isn't a ton of enemies on the screen, though. If you can master how to use your weapon... Uh, you're going to be able to pull it off pretty easy. But uh, it's just really learning the controls and getting your weapons down. I really, like I said, though, I think it has some really cool enemy boss fights. And they're rather tough. Uh, I can see a lot of people struggling with this game. It's not an easy platformer. Fortunately, there is codes. Uh, you can look up codes for this. And you can get, like, infinite lives and... Uh, some other things to help you uh, actually finish the game. Uh, you're probably going to need those if you're not really, really skilled player of old retro games. Like I said, it's very, very tough. It's very, very difficult. But uh, it, it is a lot of fun. Uh, Pico's done a lot of these games. They did a couple of shooters I really, really enjoyed. This isn't my favorite of theirs. Uh, I never was a real big fan of this game on the Genesis, and I was a Genesis fan. Uh, I always thought it was rather difficult, but that wasn't the only thing I liked about it. I really didn't like the controls, but, uh, it's still fun. I think this version's actually better, though. It looks better, and I feel it runs smoother, and, um, it, it is enjoyable, especially for $5. You can't beat these, uh, East Asia Soft and, uh, Q-Byte and Red Alaka releases of these platformers you're getting for four to five bucks uh you know it, it, it's definitely worth that in my opinion even if you, even if you weren't a huge fan i could see you uh running through this one again i could see you uh adding this to speed run you know if you're a speed runner this would i could see you adding it to speed running library just uh it, it, it's it's fair it's not bad game i'm like i'm saying it's not bad at all it's it's a decent game but it isn't. It just isn't one of my favorites. Like, uh, there's a lot of other things I, I would have liked to seen them, uh, you know, remaster. But you know, you, they probably have to deal with what they can get their hands on. And this was one that was probably not too difficult to uh, get the rights to to remaster. Uh, so I'm saying it's good. It's not great. If, if you're not into difficult games, I don't see you enjoying it. But if you'd like a little challenge and you like. Uh, action platformers and got five bucks to spend and, you know it, it's definitely worth adding to the collection uh like i said good but not great so uh let me know if you pick it up i'd like to hear your opinions on it uh, i like to uh, always comment back and uh you know I, I love going back and forth about games 
So uh, be sure to leave messages. Let me know what you think. But I'm only giving this a 6.2 out of 10. Like I said, good but not great. But worth adding to the library if you're a retro fan. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for support as always. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. It helps us get more great games like this to cover for you. And I love covering games for you guys. And uh, thanks for watching. And as always, until next time, see you in the leaderboards.